great tips to help you dry and cure your juicy buds. Two things to first take note of. There is a difference between drying and curing buds. First, you dry your buds, then you cure them, as we will explain further. Second, drying your buds doesn't mean putting them into a warm oven and drying them to a fragile crisp. No, drying is more a case of reducing the moisture content, but only so much. If you ever use rolling tobacco, you'll know what we're talking about when you compare smoking a roly with tobacco from a newly opened pouch of tobacco to smoking one you make with tobacco that was opened a month ago and that's now as dry as a dead dingo's what's it? The first is a smooth smoke, the second is harsh as hell and makes you want to cough your lungs up. So let's talk about drying your buds. You can do this by drying them while still on the branch or you can trim them first and dry them on a rack, remembering to turn them frequently to stop them flattening out. We recommend trimming your buds first as, once dry, they are more fragile and prone to shedding when messed around with. Drying should take about 7 to 10 days depending on the environment, which is ideally around 40 to 55% humidity as you only want to reduce the moisture content by roughly 15%. Once dry and you have trimmed the buds, you want to fill a mason jar or other wide neck jar three quarters full to allow air to circulate. For the first couple of days, open the jar and check that there is no sign of mold. Allow the air to change and then seal the jar back up, keeping the humidity level around 62%. After a couple of days, this ritual only needs to be performed once daily for a minimum period of two weeks, after which your buds are smokable. But we recommend you wait a bit longer if you can in order to maximize the flavor and smoothness of the smoke. In a perfect world, you'll be looking at buds that have taken eight weeks to cure and inside the jar keeping the humidity level the same to stop the buds drying out completely. Once cured, you can consider popping humidity packs into your jars to stop any further drying out of your weed. Following that, all that's really left is to sit back and enjoy. Let us know how you go about curing your buds in the comments section below. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe so you too can become a cannabis expert.